foot spanning tree protocol feature can prohibit the sending and receiving of bridge protocol data units, BPDU guard, BPDU shut, loop guard, root guard, or BPDU filter. Folks, there's one invalid possible response here, isn't there? There's no such thing as BPDU shut. Sounds like something we would do with the front door. No, that doesn't exist. How about BPDU guard? We'll see that later on in our videos. That's not what we're dealing with here. How about loop guard or root guard? No, we know it's BPDU filter. Notice these particular questions are not going to be that difficult in a written exam environment as long as we are aware of what all of the Spanning Tree Protocol Toolkit features can do. Now, how about in the lab exam? Well, it might have been tricky a bit if we didn't know the intimate behavior both in global configuration mode and in interface level for this particular feature, but it would be very easy for us now, wouldn't it? Look at this sample question. Configure switch one so that fast ethernet zero slash one loses its port fast state should a BPDU arrive. Before this video on demand, that may have been a challenge for us. So what we need to do is simple. We need to go into global configuration mode and we need to issue the spanning tree port fast BPDU filter default command globally. Now, earlier in the video, I globally enabled port fast, but that's not really a requirement. This filtering feature here is indeed going to affect any port fast port. For instance, we could go under the port in question in this scenario and issue spanning tree port fast. And now we have achieved the requirements of this particular task. Sure. Verification is simple. We want to do show spanning tree summary to ensure that BPDU filter is globally enabled. And then I would want to do show spanning tree for the interface in question here as far as its port fast status goes. We want to make sure that the interface in question has port fast enabled when combined with the global BPDU filtering configuration, we know we have achieved the desired result for our two points in the lab exam. Where did Narbic and I come up with these examples and come up with this information, by the way? Well, it's no, no real surprise that we are drawing this information from his advanced routing and switching 4.0 workbook. Remember how absolutely critical it is going to be, folks, to take our particular features and break them down like this and thoroughly test and verify them at the command line. Once we do this, encountering one of these features in the lab exam environment is very simple. And certainly we, we don't go and configure a router to send BPDUs at the port and do everything we did in our practice. We are completely confident of how the feature works. We quickly configure it, verify that it's configured. We don't test its operation. We just verify that the configuration is in there correctly and we move on, confidently knowing that we achieved our points in the lab exam. Thanks so much for your attendance in this particular video on demand. And coming up, we'll be looking at more of these great spanning tree protocol toolkit items from Cisco Systems.